Hello everybody welcome to Hollywood Stars Lifestyle welcome back to another amazing video so please share and subscribe for more videos. 19th 1963, in Shawnee Oklahoma, to William Alvin Pitt, the proprietor of a trucking company, and Jay Netta, nay Hill House, a school counselor. The family soon moved to Springfield, Missouri, where he lived together with his younger siblings, Douglas Mitchell, born 1966, and Julie Neal, born 1969. Born into a conservative Christian household, he was raised as Southern Baptist and later oscillated between agnosticism and atheism. He later reconciled his belief in spirituality. Pitt has described Springfield as Mark Twain country, Jesse James country, having grown up with a lot of hills, a lot of lakes. Pitt attended Kickapoo High School, where he was a member of the golf, swimming and tennis teams. He participated in the school's key in forensics clubs, in school debates, and in musicals. Following his graduation from high school, Pitt enrolled in the University of Missouri in 1982, majoring in journalism with a focus on advertising. As graduation approached, Pitt did not feel ready to settle down. He loved films, a portal into different worlds for me and, since films were not made in Missouri, he decided to go to where they were made. Two weeks short of completing the coursework for a degree, Pitt left the university and moved to Los Angeles, where he took acting lessons and worked odd jobs. He has named Gary Oldman, Sean Penn, and Mickey Rourke as his early acting heroes. While struggling to establish himself in Los Angeles, Pitt took lessons from acting coach Roy London. Pitt's acting career began in 1987, with uncredited parts in the films No Way Out, 1987, No Man's Land, 1987, and Less Than Zero, 1987. In May 1987, he made his television debut in a two-episode role on the NBC soap opera Another World. In November of the same year, Pitt had a guest appearance on the CBS sitcom Trial and Error and the ABC sitcom Growing Pains. He appeared in four episodes of the CBS primetime series Dallas between December 1987 and February 1988 as Randy, the boyfriend of Charlie Wade, played by Shalane McCall. Later in 1988, Pitt made a guest appearance on the Fox police drama 21 Jump Street. In the same year, the Yugoslavia U.S. co-production The Dark Side of the Sun, 1988, gave Pitt his first leading film role, as a young American taken by his family to the Adriatic to find a remedy for a skin condition. The film was shelved at the outbreak of the Croatian War of Independence, and was not released until 1997. Pitt made two motion picture appearances in 1989, the first in a supporting role in the comedy Happy Together, the second a featured role in the horror film Cutting Class, the first of Pitt's films to reach theaters. He made guest appearances on television series Head of the Class, Freddy's Nightmares, 30-something, and, for a second time, Growing Pains, in 1999. Pitt portrayed Tyler Durden in Fight Club, a film adaptation of Chuck Palahniuk's novel of the same name, directed by David Fincher. Pitt prepared for the part with lessons in boxing, taekwondo, and grappling. To look the part, Pitt consented to the removal of pieces of his front teeth which were restored when filming ended. While promoting Fight Club, Pitt said that the film explored not taking one's aggressions out on someone else but to have an experience, take a punch more and see how you come out on the other end. Fight Club premiered at the 1999 Venice International Film Festival. Despite divided critical opinion on the film as a whole, Pitt's performance was widely praised. Paul Clinton of CNN noted the risky yet successful nature of the film, while Variety remarked upon Pitt's ability to be cool, charismatic and more dynamically physical, perhaps than his breakthrough role in Thelma and Louise. In spite of a worse than expected box office performance, Fight Club became a cult classic after its DVD release in 2000. Pitt had two major film roles in 2004 starring as Achilles in Troy, and reprising his role, Rusty Ryan, in the sequel Ocean's 12. 
he spent six months saw training before the filming of Troy, based on the Iliad. An onset injury to his Achilles tendon delayed production on the picture for several weeks. Stephen Hunter of the Washington Post stated that Pitt excelled at such a demanding role. Troy was the first film produced by Plan B Entertainment, a film production company he had founded two years earlier with Jennifer Aniston and Brad Gray, CEO of Paramount Pictures. Ocean's 12 earned $362 million worldwide, and Pitt and Clooney's dynamic was described by CNN's Paul Clinton as the best male chemistry since Paul Newman and Robert Redford. In 2005, Pitt starred as John Smith in the Doug Liman-directed action comedy Mr. and Mrs. Smith, in which a bored married couple discover that each is an assassin sent to kill the other. The feature received reasonable reviews but was generally lauded for the chemistry between Pitt and Angelina Jolie, who played his character's wife Jane Smith. The Star Tribune noted that while the story feels haphazard, the movie gets by on gregarious charm, galloping energy and the star's thermonuclear screen chemistry. Mr. and Mrs. Smith earned $478 million worldwide, making it one of the biggest hits of 2005. Pitt's next leading role came in 2009 with the Quentin Tarantino-directed war film Inglourious Basterds, which premiered at the 2009 Cannes Film Festival. Pitt played Lieutenant Aldo Rain, an American resistance fighter battling Nazis in German-occupied France. The film was a box office hit, taking $311 million worldwide, and garnered generally favorable reviews. The film received multiple awards and nominations, including eight Academy Award nominations and seven MTV Movie Award nominations, including Best Male Performance for Pitt. He next voiced the superhero character Metro Man in the 2010 animated feature Megamind. Pitt produced and appeared in Terence Millick's experimental drama The Tree of Life, co-starring Sean Penn, which won the Palme d'Or at the 2011 Cannes Film Festival. In a performance that attracted strong praise, he portrayed the Oakland Athletics general manager Billy Bean in the drama Moneyball, which is based on the 2003 book of the same name written by Michael Lewis. Moneyball received six Academy Award nominations including Best Picture and Best Actor for Pitt. From the late 1980s to early 1990s, Pitt was romantically involved with several of his co-stars, including Robin Givens, Head of the Class, 197, Jill Sullen, Cutting Class, and Juliette Lewis, Too Young to Die, and California. Subsequently, Pitt had a much publicized romance and engagement to his seven co-star, Gwyneth Paltrow, whom he dated from 1994 to 1997. Pitt met actress Jennifer Aniston in 1998 and they married in a private wedding ceremony in Malibu on July 29, 2000. In January 2005, Pitt and Aniston announced they had decided to separate. Two months later, Aniston filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. Pitt and Aniston's divorce was finalized by the Los Angeles Superior Court on October 2, 2005. Despite media reports that Pitt and Aniston had an acrimonious relationship, Pitt said in a February 2009 interview that he and Aniston checking with each other, adding that they were both big parts of each other's lives. During Pitt's divorce proceedings, his involvement with his Mr. and Mrs. Smith co-star Angelina Julie attracted media attention. Julie and Pitt stated that they fell in love on the set and that there was no infidelity. 201, in April 2005, one month after Aniston filed for divorce, a set of paparazzi photographs emerged showing Pitt. Julie, and her son Maddox at a beach in Kenya, the press interpreted the pictures as evidence of a relationship between Pitt and Julie. Throughout 2005, the two were seen together with increasing frequency, and the entertainment media dubbed the couple Brangelina. On January 11, 2006, Julie confirmed to people that she was pregnant with Pitt's child, thereby publicly acknowledging their relationship for the first time. Pitt and Julie announced their engagement in April 2012 after seven years together. 
They were married on August 23, 2014, in a private ceremony in Chateau Miravel, France. On September 19, 2016, Gilly filed for divorce from Pitt, citing irreconcilable differences. On April 12, 2019, the court restored Gilly and Pitt to single status and they were declared divorced. In September 2016, the FBI and the Los Angeles Department of Children and Family Services investigated Pitt for child abuse following an incident on a plane, where Pitt was accused by an anonymous person of being verbally abusive and physical towards one of his children. Pitt said that he put his hands on Maddox but did not hit him in the face. In its final report on the investigation, the Los Angeles County Department of Children and Family Services ruled that Pitt did not physically abuse any of his children. Pitt was also cleared by the FBI of any wrongdoing. Since Jilly filed for divorce from Pitt on September 19, 2016, they have been embroiled in a custody battle over their children. Julie had full custody until May 2021 when Pitt was granted joint custody, over four and a half years after proceedings began. However, in July, Los Angeles Superior Court Judge John W. Audegerk was removed from the case due to concerns over his impartiality as he did not sufficiently disclose business relationships with Pitt's lawyers. This resulted in the custody arrangement reverting to a previous November 2018 agreement where Julie has full custody while Pitt has custodial time with their minor children.